If your song is blowing up right now, these are some of the marketing strategies you gotta take advantage of immediately. And if you haven't blown up yet, just take note. What's up, my brand man, Sean, and my agency has helped over 100 artists grow their fan base and do millions of streams. I don't say that to sell you anything, just so you can know who the information's coming from. Let's get to it. So the first thing to consider when it comes to what to do next when you begin to blow up or go viral is how you began to go viral in the first place. How is the song taking off? Because there's actually different strategies that you apply at different moments in time. And we're gonna go over two popular ways that people are blowing up just to cover as many bases as possible. But there's also some other ways and you guys happen to blow up in a different way. You can just ask in the comments and I'll answer there. However, let's start here. Blow up way number one. Artist generated content. Now what's artist generated content? Think about user generated content, right? You have a platform like Instagram or TikTok, but the users are the ones who create the content. Well, artist generated content is when the artist is the person who's generating and curating the content from their own page and the song blows up that way. And this is the best way to blow up for an indie artist. I'm not gonna go through all the reasons why, on this video, but I'll put it in the description below, or end of the video, I'll create another, another video for that. But back to this. Artist generated content is arguably the most powerful way for an artist to blow up and TikTok has made that more possible than ever. And it's not a new thing on TikTok, by the way. Back in 2020, we helped an artist by the name of Fash literally just post content and blow up his very first song doing millions of streams just from posting content, not having to pay a dime. You can do the same. That's artist generated content. Now, if you blow up with artist generated content, the first thing you need to do is what? Keep posting. Keep posting, keep posting, keep posting. And I know it sounds a little weird. Why should I keep posting? But you have to understand most artists actually do not exploit the moment enough when the moment happens. Now, what is the moment? The moment is when you get momentum, when you start to go viral, something's taking off. And the worst thing that most new artists experience is a lack of respect or momentum because it feels like that big moment's happening. There's so much happening without you having to do a thing. You don't understand that this doesn't last forever and you need to be leaning in even harder. Grind it out and squeeze this moment for every ounce that you can get. Experienced, established artists, they respect the hell out of momentum because they now know how hard it is to create momentum even if you're an established artist, right? So if you have it, you gotta keep posting to take advantage of it as much as you can. Now, with that being said, you can hit a ceiling just from posting on your own profile. So you have to begin to expand how that song is perceived. And the more ways that people experience your music, the more omnipresent it feels and the more real it tends to feel for people. So getting other people to post, that could be influencers, that could be friends, but beginning to have that happen will then allow people to see your song and experience your song outside of you directly right now it's just the song itself which makes it seem bigger because they're supporters right you can call it testimonial social proof whatever you want to call it but the beauty is TikTok specifically organically tends to make that happen you can still lean into it and accelerate that but this is why TikTok is so powerful you can literally have all these people support your track without you even having to ask them at all so that's number two one keep posting two Influencers in three is advertising. That adds to the omnipresence as well, but you have to know how to do it and understand that there's a timing to it, right? Sometimes you can do advertising and you do it way too early, it might feel more forced, but when you have so much going on around a track, it's already established on the platform, advertising can feel very organic. It can just feel like it's a part of the moment. They're already aware that it didn't start from here, so you're not necessarily forcing something, you're just adding on to something. But again, when you do that, you have to make sure you do that the right way. Now, the second way that we're going to talk about blow ups in this video is influencers. Now, it doesn't have to be an actual influencer as a professional name. And this is what I do. I get paid 10,000, 20,000. I'm Charlie D'Amelio. It doesn't have to necessarily be an influencer influencer. It could just be user generated content. Some random person on TikTok decided they liked your song, posted to it, and it happened to take off even though they only have 2,000 followers. That is a real thing, it's happened to many artists. As a matter of fact, one of the artists we've worked with, Apollo Fresh, did over 60 million streams on his song, Jojo Pros, and it was taking off from 
people on the platform posting, but here's a huge problem when you have a song take off that way. When a song takes off and it's not from artist generated content, then people don't have the context of who the artist is, how the artist looks necessarily. What does that mean? That means they don't know you cuz. So you need to figure out how do you associate yourself with the song. A great way to do that is begin commenting on some of the posts of other people posting. Hey, appreciate you posting my song. Hey, I love this post. The song is out on all platforms. You can answer a lot of the comments when people are asking, hey, what's the name of this song? All of that stuff is possible. You can definitely do that. It works, it helps. Another thing is to duet the song, specifically the song's blowing up. You, you see some influencer posted or some random person and it's doing well. You wanna duet that as fast as possible and say, hey, this person posted my song and it's going viral or my song's going viral or thank you for posting. Something like that, right? Where it's very obvious that this is your song. And if you can time it, you wanna choose somebody's post that's just taken off. Not before it takes off, cause it might never take off, but a, a post that's obviously going viral is moving fast and you wanna do that duet, that post as fast as possible. And the way TikTok works, you could literally duet somebody's viral post and your duet of doing nothing can do better than their viral post. You'd be even more viral. But in this scenario, it's about getting as many people as possible to understand that this is you. And now I'm about to give you one last thing that you need to do when you blow up with user generated content or influencers. And then I'm gonna give you some tips that actually apply to all blow up situations. But what's that last thing? That last thing is to, Start posting on your page if you haven't started posting heavily already. The thing is when a lot of people blow up with influencers or outside scenarios, they tend to not have actually had an established page. So if you haven't had an established page and haven't been getting good at posting content, you need to do that immediately because you need a bucket for people to fall on when they find you on the platform or else you'll miss out. You won't get as many followers as you need to. You won't have that following to begin to engage with you and see more of your music, your songs, etc. But if you've already been posting and already have a decent profile, you're in a perfect position. Keep posting, doing your thing, and that's it, all right? Now, what are some of these additional tips that you need to make sure that you do when you begin to blow up with a song? Well, the first thing is YouTube. Now, you could do an official music video. I advise create a music video after your song begins to blow up. That way you don't waste any money or resources creating a music video for a song that people might never care about. But you know, you're an artist, do your thing. If you just have a creative vision, put it out there. But I advise waiting till after a song begins to blow up. But it doesn't have to be a music video, a lyric video or just an audio video is just fine. And what do I mean by audio video? Well, that's literally a video that's the song on YouTube and it's just playing the audio. There aren't any super moving lyrics, but these days, why not at least put the lyrics in the description and you know make the lyrics pop up on the screen? It doesn't have to be fancy, moving around, all that crazy stuff. A lyric video or audio or even a visualizer, right, where you collect multiple videos that you feel like go with the vibe of whatever you're trying to communicate and put that there and then add the lyrics still. Why not add the lyrics? That just makes things so much easier for the potential fans that you have coming in. And that's pretty cheap to do. Now, another thing to do in all blow up situations, if you happen to have something blow up from a teaser, you only have two to three weeks max to make sure that that song drops. Now, really the preference is within seven days. So really your goal should be seven days, but I know distributors, if you don't already have it set for release, all that stuff happens, but you need to get on it. You got two, two, three weeks max, or you're going to lose what word? Momentum. You never want to lose that, all right? And you also wanna do a pre-save if you do not have a pre-save up. And again, this is for somebody blowing up without the song actually being out. I know that might sound weird for some people, but we've had songs do massively before they ever released for unknown artists, all because of TikTok. TikTok has made that more real than any other platform at any time 
ever. And another quick housekeeping thing is just to make sure all your LinkedIn bios are correct on your Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, all that good stuff because you know you want people to be able to find a track. And one thing before I forget, I made a point of making the lyric videos, audio videos, or a potential music video on YouTube number one because in all of the data, all of the success we've had on TikTok, one of the biggest platforms in terms of transferability, meaning your audience goes from this flat platform on TikTok to another platform has been to YouTube. People organically go to YouTube and Spotify far and beyond when it comes to music and experiencing it on TikTok than any other platforms. So you wanna make sure you knock out both of those. And last but not least is name your song correctly. Or if you didn't name it, name it. And what do I mean by name it? I'm talking about the original sound. Oftentimes, if you post it on your song, because yes, you can distribute your song into TikTok's official library, but that doesn't mean every single one of your posts will be to that sound in the official library. You might forget or just decide not to do it, and you need to make sure the original sound is written out specifically as the artist name, song name, song name, artist name, however you wanna do it, there's not huge, you know, impact versus one or the other, but you need to do it. This makes it easier for people to go find your song because the culture, most people already know, hey, if I look at the name of the sound, I can find the name of the song. And when you begin commenting, then people will see on the post, oh, Brandman is posting on this song and the sound says, this is Brandman's song called Whip It. I don't know, just making something up. So that allows you to post sometimes and get attention and get followers without having to say, hey, that's my song, or hey, thanks for posting my song, like doing all of that more outward stuff. You wanna do that a few times, like I said, the duet, all those things that we talked about in the video, but at scale, after a while, you really just wanna comment, show love, thanks for posting, this is dope, da 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 da, and let people organically realize, hey, that's the artist, that's the same of the sound name. That right there would get you in the right direction. Now, this is part two of what to do when your music blows up. And again, these are only two of the major situations of how people's music is blowing up. TikTok isn't the only way that you can blow up your music. There's still other ways that we have recently still been blowing artists' music up, but I'm not gonna lie, the vast majority of blowups are happening on TikTok today. So hopefully this touches bases and, and resonates for you if you're blowing up in one of these ways. And if you haven't yet, just keep this stuff in mind and hey, hopefully you're blowing up soon. And that's it for this video. Peace.